Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali and today's topic is what is the best way to increase your muscle size. Now, when you get started at the gym, the first bit of Chinese whispers that goes around is that you need to lift heavy with short repetition range sets in order to muscle up and that you need to do lighter weights with a higher repetition range uh, in order to get ripped. So we want to examine this and find out how true it is today. So many trainers actually advise you exactly what I just said. Even nowadays talking to a lot of um, entry level trainers, they believe the same thing, which is what I used to believe 20 years ago, you know, 20 plus years ago when I first started in fitness as well. However, studies have shown that irrespective of whether you're lifting heavy or you're lifting light, as long as you're bringing your muscles to failure on every set, then there's going to be virtually no variance as far as muscle size is concerned. In fact, a trial with 50 people who um, lifted heavy, short range sets versus 50 people who lifted light but trained to failure on every set um, resulted in only a 3% variance between the two test groups. So essentially that means that the difference is somewhat negligible. So then you've got to look at other factors as far as your muscle growth is concerned. To get maximum muscle hypertrophy, you need to work your sets to near failure. Okay, so let me explain what I'm talking about. If you're taking, say, a minute rest between uh, sets, which is plenty of rest, you need to make sure that the actual set itself is lengthy enough to warrant that type of break. So in other words, you know, you need to train some 45 seconds to a minute if you're going to take a minute's rest in between. The length of the set should be directly related to the amount of break that you take between those sets. So what I'm telling you is that the shorter the set, then the shorter the rest that you take between those sets. Now, training correctly is just one aspect of bulking up. What's more important is how much calories you're consuming. So if you're consuming more than what it takes to sustain your body weight, you're essentially going to bulk up, you're going to muscle up. If you're taking in marginally below what it takes to sustain your body weight, then you're going to rip up. So you could essentially train exactly the same way, whether your purpose is to bulk up or whether your purpose is to cut up. And how much food you consume is going to determine whether those muscles are going to grow or whether you're going to get shredded. For a practical example, if you look at bodybuilders in the off season, what are they doing? They're consuming more calories than what it takes to sustain their body weight so that they can muscle up so they can get bigger for next season. But what happens during um, competing season? Everybody's trying to cut up. So what's, what everyone's doing is managing how much calories is actually coming into their bodies. If you're trying to shred, you need to manage how much calories are coming in and you really need to check out those macros and stay on top of it. Of course, the third aspect of the formula is to ensure that you're getting sufficient rest, okay? So we talked about training your sets to failure. We talked about increasing or decreasing your calories depending on whether you're trying to muscle up or whether you're trying to shred. And then we want to make sure that we're getting sufficient amounts of rest as well. Good sleep at night is vital to complete the formula. Okay, so let's go back to what we started off with, which is talking about heavy sets with short repetition range versus the longer, lighter sets, okay? So this is going to be more useful if you're a power lifter and you're trying to obtain a maximum lift. That's when you're looking at those shorter sets with a higher weight load on them. So ultimately, it determines strength based on a power lifter's understanding of what strength is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and challenge you guys and I'm going to ask you, what is your definition of strength? While we're talking about this, guys, I want you to look at this video in the corner. Basically, all I'm doing here is I'm just bench pressing my own body weight. Now, my personal opinion is that people who measure their strength with a single lift are actually wrong. Now, some of you guys are going to hate on this. Some of you guys are going to disagree with what I'm saying. This is just my personal opinion. But I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think anyway. Now, a long time ago when I was in my 20s, I used to 
um, worry about my single lift as well. I used to measure strength, you know, the same way a power lifter measures it by, you know, what's the most amount you can bench press? What's the most amount that you could squat, right? Um, now, many years later, my definition of strength has actually changed quite a lot, right? So, you know, in my 20s, I used to do a maximum bench press of 420 pounds, right? Um, now, I haven't done anything near that for a long, long time, but you can see in the video that I'm bench pressing my own weight, 210 pounds, and I'm doing it for over 30 repetitions. So for it to compare my single lift with what I did yesterday, then essentially we're saying, you know, a single set, 420 pounds, because that's what a single lift is, or this set here, which is over 6,000 pounds because I've got 30 reps out of it. So it might be fair to say that I had um, better trained fast twitching muscles, you know, 20 years ago, whereas now I've got a combination and a better balance as far as fast twitching muscles and slow twitching muscles are concerned. In real life, in practice, um, there aren't going to be too many circumstances where you're doing a single lift but you just don't have enough in you to do a second repetition. Um, for functional fitness, for functional strength, real strength, my definition of strength is that you're going to be able to push a particular weight but you're going to be able to keep on pushing that rep after rep. So in summary, you don't need to do your single biggest lift in order to muscle up. What you need to do, in fact, is you need to train smart, which is training both your fast twitching and slow twitching muscles together. How much you can lift doesn't determine how much you're going to muscle up, right? Now, if that was the case, then bodybuilders would be stronger than powerlifters, and it's not the case. My challenge to you guys today is to find out how strong you really are. So what, what I want you to do is load up a bench with the same amount of weight as yourself and then get your set in, try and get all those repetitions in and I want you to comment and let me know below how many reps you got out of it. That is ultimately going to tell you how strong you really are. Now, if you take that mentality and apply it to your bodybuilding as well, then I'm going to tell you that you're going to end up with a much more pleasing physique. You're going to muscle up and you're going to have that nice physical presence that you're looking for. Be sure to comment below and let me know how many repetitions you did. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any other videos coming up. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, then remember to click here on the right and subscribe to this channel. I also think this video and this video down here might be of interest to you, so be sure to check it out.